the best way to add a new manager level to a company is to do it from the hamburger. So what we're going to do here is um, in our demo company, if I were to pull up one of my employees, let's just pull up our favorite Josh Bronson right here. And when we go to his employee record and we look at his managers, go to the main tab, go to managers, you can see he only has one manager, it's Paul Peterson. So what we're doing to add another manager out here, maybe timesheet supervisor or timesheet approver, assistant manager, something of that nature, we're going to then um, add that at the company level and then we have to add it to the employees themselves. So we have to add the position and then we're going to add the person in the position on the employee records. Or we can do it as a mass update uh, by adding the person to the position. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the hamburger. We're going to go to the gear, which is our company level settings, global setup, and then company setup. First widget that we see is the manager information. So we have manager one is already set up. And let's say we want to say assistant manager. So we're going to add an assistant manager. We're going to turn it on by checking the box. Then we're going to go to the permissions. And here you can see we have a lot of permissions for the manager. We probably want those same permissions for the assistant manager. If I click the pencil, I can see even better. And basically everything has been checked. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to check the boxes. If I check edit, it checks the view for me. If I check approve, it checks everything else for me. And I'm going to say modify. And that'll save the settings. Now, if I want to set a default assistant manager, I can put that one in here just by, by going in from this level. In most companies, we do not have a default manager or a default assistant. We do that at the company level. So once I save this page, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mass Edit Profile. And this is where I'm going to pick the employees. Maybe I want to say starts with or in starts starts with could be a department. Maybe I want to sort by department, whatever it is. But I can choose uh, the employees that I want to use for this. And then I'm going to mass edit those employees. I'm going to come over here to the manager widget. I'm just going to insert my manager that I wanted to use. So let's put Paul in there. And when we apply the change, get the blue line, it says it's been saved and processed. I'm going to go to those selected employees just to check one of them so we can see what the change was. So on Dana Fry is one of the ones we picked. I'm just going to say okay. I know the changes have been made. And when I go to her assistant manager, it says Paul Peterson. When I click on or hover over the question mark, it tells me what their permissions are. All right, that's all you needed. Good luck.